Hey guys, and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. We have come to the Lungeon Kingdom to stop the Brutals from getting a big piece of meat, I guess? <laughs> it's a stew. Okay, well, whatever. Let's just continue with our Odyssey, shall we? What the... What are these exactly? Um, they're beans. Ah. Almost makes me wish I was playing Superstar Saga, but it's fine. <laughs> you can't come down, Ledgers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh fuck. Yeah, but the Luncheon Kingdom, this is actually quite a big kingdom. There is a lot of stuff to do here, so we may be here for a little while, but you know, there's a lot of like secrets around as well, like even more so than a lot of the other kingdoms, so maybe keep your eye out. Interesting. Oh definitely, I mean, obviously we've gone through the whole thing of the size of the kingdoms, and yeah, Luncheon King definitely sits in with being one of the larger kingdoms, and this is definitely quite big because even though you've got a pretty linear route through it's gonna take you all over the place huh. I gotta say when um, I first saw the Lunchroom Kingdom in like the initial trailers this is one of the kingdoms that popped for me the most because uh, it, it kind of clashed I have to say because it's all like polygonal and multicolored and you put it next to like the Metro Kingdom it's especially prevalent how different it is oh yeah this guy I remember this guy yeah yeah it's him <laughs> I, I will say like about the general look of this I do get where you're coming from though if you think about it, like all of the kingdoms seem to have their own like use of color use of like you know just general shapes and geometry and whatnot because like you, you think the cat kingdom next to like metro kingdom next to seaside kingdom like they all look radically different so it, it's just like another one for the list really mm -hmm. although saying that this is a little bit on the loud side for my liking in terms of like the color and whatnot so oh yeah 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 that is just one of the criticisms that I tend to have with levels in general like this. You know, I'd like things to be a little bit more tame rather than very bright and loud. I, I was expecting more from that fight for some reason. I don't know. Um, you could have beaten him actually quite a lot quicker because um, the trick with Spewit here is that when he goes into his hat... Well, goes into his hat to do that kind of whole spew thing. If you jump on him, that'll stop that phase of the fight. Oh, yes, of course, yeah. Um, pretty much all of the Brutals have a sort of thing that they deal with that. So, um, for example, um, with Harriet, who's the, the girl one who throws the bombs, um, she goes into her hat as a UFO and drops bombs. You can hit a bomb back up at her and that'll cut down that phase. Yes, yeah. Um, Rango, who's the hat thrower, he's the same. You jump on his hat and that'll be the end of that phase. Top is a bit more of a weird one. Um, uh, Topper being the one with the um, green top hat. Uh -huh. um, because he's got one move where he kind of falls forward and goes around in a circle with his hats, which is the most annoying move that he does. And you can stop that one by jumping on him. There's another way of stopping another attack, but I can't remember what it is. Huh. Okay, we've we've just got an sentientized like kitchen utensils now. All right, you know I don't come to these kingdoms to judge, you know. Although saying that, after what I said to you about how there's a lot of secrets around, I did notice that you just ran straight through the linear route of that first area and left it at that. I know. Well, you know, <laughs> I, I tend to when I have like open world games and stuff. I go for the main mission first, and uh, then I'll just like pick off like optional stuff as I go through. So you forget it, got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, cut me some slack here. I'm just trying to enjoy my adventure, okay? That's uh. totally fair. Alright, let's get us a moon to commemorate the new kingdom conquering. And also, I have to say, it's kind of weird looking at a fork wearing a whole bunch of hats, but uh, <laughs> I suppose this, this kingdom's just weird, and I love it. Uh-huh. Clown hat, clown suit, finally! My new form! Oh no, Tom, please, please. Oh god, this is awful. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to sit back and think of the, the Greatest Showman right now. Just think, just that, that film. Think of that film rather than looking at what's going to come, because otherwise I'm gonna go to it. Which I haven't seen yet, but I do want to see. But this is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh! Mario Paint. Yes. That's from the Game & Watch games, isn't it? I believe so. Actually, no, is it, um... 
the Yoshi Cookie game? It might be, actually. Yeah, I think I had Yoshi's Cookie. That's for the Game Boy, right? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure about that one. Yeah. Um, Tom, throw that into the stew. Ah. Nice. Oh, really? <laughs> one for one, that's it? <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. I ain't gonna complain about a free moon, you know? Yeah, there's a lot of those types of things hidden. Um, not there, annoyingly. <laughs> I'll put it um, in the stew but... anyway, you can't stop me. Well, that's totally fine. Um, but yeah, you, there's a, I think there's a grand total of three um, hidden turnips that you can uh, get power moons from. Well, that seems to be like the running thing in each kingdom. Like you have like the seeds, you have um, just some incidental NPC ones. I'm gonna take this and become a fireball. It's what I've always dreamed of. Can I go over here? <gasps> I can. Oh, this is beautiful. Is that salt I landed on? Is that why I, like, deflamed? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I went too far. I dreamed too close to the sun. Alright, what can we find over here? Go back to the platform that you just passed. I'm swimming, if you don't mind. Well, that's fine. You said, you said what can we find here? I was just pointing one out. I found some purple pumpkins, if you don't mind. Well, that's also good. <laughs> Uh, I, I I actually love the uh, the high colours here, Flame. I'm sorry if you're not enough of a man to take all of this colour, but you know. I have to say, I, I do really like how bright this place is, just because the thing that Odyssey does really well with differentiating its kingdoms is the colour palette. So you get the ones that are much more muted in their colour, like um, Metro City and... Uh, so on, and then you get the ones that are more realistic in style, the ones that are more creative in style, and it's just kind of following through with all that. Oh, this is very interesting. Oh yeah, this is quite fun. Whee! And don't forget, there's always two moons in an area like this. Yes, always two there are. Hmm. Hmm. I see you over there. <laughs> over here. Nice. Just rewards me for exploring. I love it. I know. Also, I really do love using the forks to flick. Uh -huh. Because it's, it's just one of those things that's just really simple, but really satisfying to do. It's intuitive is what it is, and that's why it feels good. Especially like in that platforming section on the way up where it's got like the thing that fires your cap around the corners and whatnot and then you can just like, you know, reach the ones around the other side there as well. It's like, just, it works so well. Now is that the thing you were talking about, Rich, when you told me to go back to the platform? Um, to your left. Uh-huh. It, it's that sort of one salt pile in the middle of the two... Well, the so big salt pile with that one. And the salt pile with the thing uh. on and the one with the rock. Because, yeah, there's a glowy and there's a power moon. I'm a big silly. Island of salt floating in the lava. That's me. Just a big old pile of, like, sodium ready to explode at any given time. <laughs> <laughs> also, us when you miss an obvious moon. <laughs> yeah, well, no one really cares about your feelings, so. Mm. <laughs> Is this a post game thing? Yes, that's a post game thing. Well, uh, it might please some of you to know we are going to do a sizable chunk of the post game, at least two sessions worth, so uh, that's about 18 videos, I would suppose. Well, we'll just have to see how many moons we can get. Hmm, yes. I kind of want that chef's hat now, I'm going to be honest. Well, you'll just have to get up to, I think it was about 15 purple coins that you need to get the chef's outfit, so uh should be pretty simple. Roughly about 28 more if I want uh, the entire ensemble, and I do. Gotta look your absolute best, of course. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna swim around for a bit. There seems to be a lot to uh, find with the little fireball here. Oh, definitely. And also, that swimming sound effect is oddly satisfying and relaxing. <laughs> it is, yeah. It's like swimming through angel delight, as it were. Oh, can I not swim up these things like a Zoru? No, you can't use waterfall, unfortunately. What a shame. 
Yeah, you need your HMO eight for that. <laughs> we don't do hate gems anymore, okay? Uh, well, you say that, but I still think, you know, the old gym battle system was better than that fucking island challenge thing they got now, but, you know. I, I disagree, Flame. Debatable. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you're wrong, you stupid poopy head! I, I'd say that you're the one who's probably wrong, Flame, just because it's the fresh. Well, it was the freshest the Pokemon felt. It's just the issue that Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon both have is that they were a little bit sluggish to get going. Once they got going, it was really brilliantly fresh. Um, it was just kind of those first few hours which were really slow. Mm-hmm. All right, let's have a little exploratorium around it. Ooh, ah, <laughs> it's time to do the thing again where I win all at once. Exactly! You're not quite going to be able to win entirely all at once because there's five and you can only hit three at once. But it's still easier than it initially makes itself out to be. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, this one's a bit faster this time. It's exactly the same. Good enough. So, you, yeah, you've just got to make sure that you hit those ones and you, you're all good. Oh yeah! Give me that fucking power moon, baby! Playing the slots in a launching kingdom feels weird. It's like casino meets cooking. Though, if you look at like the placement of the casino, like he probably doesn't get that much business there. It doesn't seem like the best fucking marketing and approach and whatnot to hide your business behind a big pile of shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, a big pile of cooking materials. Anyway, I don't know, guys. I love how this kingdom looks. <laughs> well, I will say I probably do have a little bit against this, like, maybe undue, like, bias against it, in that I've never really been that big on, like, food areas in general. It's, like, one of my least favourite level tropes. So like, I think the things like Sweet Mountain and whatnot, and it just really doesn't appeal to me. Huh. I could have sworn I would have gotten a moon for that. Oh well. I think in the post game there might be a moon in that location, um, but not that one. There is, however, a moon in this location. Can you find it? Gee, I wonder where it is. <laughs> <laughs> I need help. I can't find it. Oh, it went to the heavens. It's gone now. Oh! I see you. Almost. Targeting. It is forever. The bitch of the world. There we go. Yay! Perfecto. Jump up here. Another wall jump, perhaps? More jumps, a good idea. Am I slacking off? No way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless. Bless, bless, bless. Hello. I thought that was sentient for a second, though. No, the birds are sentient, though. Yeah, and they know to get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, let's move on a little bit. Are you not going to go chef yet? Considering that's what you went to get the purple coins to get. Oh, uh, but, um, fine, I guess. Basically, Richie wants you to get rid of the clan suit as soon as possible. <laughs> I mean, basically, yes. I mean, I know that there's never enough clowns, but, uh, yeah, please, p kill it with fire. <laughs> okay, I was thinking of the, uh, the Mario Paint uniform in terms of, you know, the currency it would cost. Hmm. No, yeah, the Mario Paint ones are much more expensive than the Chef outfit, and uh, it's great. And very fitting for this kingdom. Very much so, yeah. Oh, speaking of fitting costumes, there was a mini Nintendo Direct recently. Oh my god! There is DLC coming in February, and uh, it gives you three new costumes. One, you get the, the sunglasses and the Hawaiian shirt from Mario Sunshine. The second one is the musician ensemble from uh, New Donk. And I believe the last one is a knight's suit of armour, like the helmet and whatnot. And, uh, yes, it the, is. The actual suit of armour, which is very fitting, because Dark Souls Remastered just recently got announced for um, the friggin' Switch. I know! That was like a... Wait, really? Okay. Let's go with that. <laughs> oh, it feels good! Oh, oh. yeah. It's, it, that's just a beautiful thing to be able to do. <laughs> Now you can be the hammer bro and have the power trip yourself. Oh, uh, beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, I have to say, like, that... Um, so, we had the mini direct, and there was a lot of really cool things shown off slash announced there. I mean, Kirby Star Allies, I'm kind of just like, oh my god, it's beautiful. It looks great, um, yeah. 
But then they've gone on to show off, like, the fact that Detective Pikachu is coming to the West. I mean, we kind of guessed that it probably would, considering the film, but it was just like, it's happening! Uh-huh. Okay, so I've been completely out of the loop with that, like, I slept through the direct. So, like, what kind of game is that Detective Pikachu game? Um, so Detective Pikachu wasn't actually in the direct. They uh, just sort of revealed a trailer for it afterwards. Um, I think it's sort of a sort of a, a point and click adventure type game. It's basically like Layton and Ace Turner. All right, fair play. Um, but with um, uh, Detective Pikachu. Why not? I saw the amiibo that they're bringing out for that. Looks absolutely massive. It's <laughs> huge. Apparently, it's thirty dollars. Oh my god, no! Big pot on the volcano. Dive in. Um, no. I don't like lava. I don't like being burned. Well, it could be fine because we have these thing called, things called podaboos and they'll be really helpful. We're going to get that checkpoint, are we not? <sighs> <laughs> honestly. Honestly, 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 I'm going up here. Fuck you all. That's totally fine. Hmm. So here's the last level of World 8 again. <laughs> Tom? Yes? You do realise you have a long jump, don't you? I do, yes. Okay. I was just I'm checking. I'm just choosing not to use it. <laughs> yeah, this is a Dante must die mode, but instead of Dante, it's Mario. <laughs> I love these, like, I've mentioned this before, obviously, but, you know, commentary bears repeating. I love, oh, never mind. I love these Sunshine-esque, like, random realm levels. I know, I do too. It's, if there's one thing that Sunshine got right, it was doing these rooms that were just sort of secret extra rooms with platforming challenges in them. Fuck. Because... I mean, Wild Sunshine didn't necessarily do them brilliantly, because obviously you were without Flood and didn't have the full uh, full abilities of Mario's movesets, and that kind of did make them more annoying than they should be. Uh -huh. It was a chance to throw in, uh, like, really random and Fuck. interesting <laughs> platform set pieces that you couldn't necessarily fit into that world otherwise. And that's just what makes it quite cool. And yes, please don't fall off again. I'm trying not to, I swear. <laughs> okay, so 240 coins left. That's basically 24 lives. Shut uh, up, you! <laughs> Alright, oh. oh Jesus Christ. Do you want to know where the secret moon in this one is? I mean, you should be able to guess. <sighs> okay, but how are you going to do this? It's fine. I got it. I got it. I don't got it. Why are these tomatoes made out of lava? It doesn't make a lick of sense. Basically, what I do is I get my ass hurt on the lava and that bounces me up to the moon. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I don't know whether somebody has actually managed to do that as a way of skipping through this particular area quite quickly. Um, but... Oh! So, yes, have you, have you sussed it, Tom? Um... Not really, no. Oh! Wait a minute. I think you might have it. Yeah, I mean, the tomatoes might reform before you've fully sorted it, but you might have it. By Jove, he's got it! Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Then to jump off into the abyss once more. <laughs> well, since you insist. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> uh, Come on, Tom, you've got a shadow, use it. Why aren't you doing games correctly? <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it's you insulting yourself this time, and not us. Yeah, that'd be nice if it stayed that way, you know. But uh, you gotta have bounce in a successful play for us, I suppose. Uh. Now this can be quite a fiddly bit, especially if you go in for them purple coins, just because of how like tight the corners are and whatnot. <laughs> like we're still gonna take the piss if you fall off, but you know. <laughs> But yeah, this is a slowly but surely does it sequence. There you go. I might actually be able to get some souvenirs after this. You know, retail yeah. Retail therapy does help me recover after falling into the same pit four times in a row. <laughs> Not going to get them coins. You can just consume penis, my friend. Yeah, I have to say on this one, 
yet. Yeah, no, let, let, let's not get those coins. Get those coins, because they're not going to lead us immediately to death. Beautiful. I love it when coins don't lead me to death. Oh, <laughs> that was traumatic. Let us never speak of the magma narrow path again. Oh, we could. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we have to, because I don't think it does turn up again. So you're all right on that one, Tom.